I completely agree with Trump that we need to get to the bottom of what's going on before he can accept, let alone concede, the seat. I mean, to have an absolute stop in vote counting is completely unacceptable. But at the same time, the Democrats laid out the exact plan and we're just living it right now. Sorry, I don't understand. You've heard Donald Trump in a tweet claim victory in Pennsylvania, which hasn't finished counting, victory in North Carolina, which hasn't finished counting, and victory in Michigan, which has been given to Joe Biden and the Democrats. Why is he doing that? Because we look at what happened last night before the Democrats decided to put a stop in actual vote counting. Trump had a, a tremendous surge. They did the math and they realized that if Trump were to win those those states that he was going to surpass 270 and the Democrats what, what vote counting? That. There's no what, what do you mean they stop but they're still counting the votes that's the whole point they're still no, counting they put a, they a put lot a of votes last night but they stopped last night there should have never been a process where one vote was stopped they knew exactly what was going to happen they knew the surge that was coming in with the mail-in votes and they literally halted last night when they started to see Donald Trump surge in the numbers they all I don't think counting. I even understand what you're saying. They they, they, they they've been counting the, the physical votes. physical counting. They stopped the physical counting in a few states, and it was completely unacceptable. They resumed again this morning. It should have never stopped. That's my Right, point. so you think that delegitimizes the entire uh, election, do you? Well, the whole mail-in voting delegitimizes the entire voting process. We've never well, had So mail-in voting during a pandemic shouldn't have been allowed. Is that right? I didn't, I didn't say it shouldn't have been allowed. It shouldn't have been encouraged to the extent that it was. You have protests out there. You have these extreme riots. To think that you can't go into a voting booth six feet apart and, and do it safely, that we all have to emergency do a mail-in voting, it's been the Democrats' plan the entire time. Again, they laid it out what? for us. So the Republicans only it's have It's been the Democrats' to plan to encourage people to, to do, vote as safely to as they can. And you would have thought it, it was the, ho do with the whole of America's interest to do, to do that. With it has zero right. to do with safety. I wonder why you'd expect anyone to take this seriously rather than just to assume he's doing what he always does, which is stoking fear, undermining democracy, encouraging people to maybe cause trouble at voting booths, as we're starting to see in places like Detroit. Why would you stand by somebody who was doing that? Well, because I think it's what the media wants you to believe. We've seen peaceful protests literally across the country for Donald Trump. When you have these major cities boarding up the retail units and restaurants, it's not because they're assuming that Trump supporters are automatically going to start rioting and, and, and start causing distress to these cities. We've seen it for over 100 days plus. It's all happening in democratically run cities.